video I'll show you the albums panel which allows us to create either regular albums or smart albums starting with the former. Regular albums allow you to drag photographs in and place in any order you like. You can use them just like a conventional printed album you might have sitting around at home. So let's go ahead and create our own album. Come over to the album panel and click the little green plus icon and then select new album. If we had any images selected before we created this album, they would automatically be entered into the album itself. To remove them, simply press the red minus icon from the bottom down here. We're going to give this album a name however, so we can identify it, and I'll call it Memories of London. We can also choose to place it inside another album by changing the category but because this is the first album we've created we've got nothing to put inside and therefore this option isn't really available. Now to add photos to the album I'm going to drag a few of them in. So I'll start with this rather cute image of the squirrel sitting on a tree. I'll just drag him over to the album and then I'll come down and do exactly the same with this lion say that's quite a nice image so I'll drag him in as well. Then I'll scroll down some more and this time we'll take this Muhammad Ali image from inside Madame Two Swords and we'll drag him into the album. And we'll go for one more, perhaps this image of the Beatles with the Sgt Pepper logo in the background. We can also drag these images around inside the album to rearrange them. And then once we're happy we can press the done button at the bottom to save that album inside the album's panel. And by the way, if you're not seeing all these images, then just come up to the top and hit this show all button. Now if we look at the lion image at the top, we can see this little green album icon indicating to us that the image is part of an album. Just this little green icon right here. If we hover over it, we get to see the name of the album. And if we go to the album's panel and click once on the name of the album, we get to see the images inside. I'll click once again and we return to the previous view. We can also add or delete images from the album by clicking this little pencil icon just like so. Once we're done we can hit the done button to accept the changes. Well, Let's move on to the other version of an album we can create here inside of Photoshop Elements and that's a smart album. A smart album allows us to create an album directly related to certain criteria. For instance, I'll click the little green plus icon here and choose the new smart album option. And I'm going to go ahead and name this Fave Photos. And now to select the criteria for the album, or the smart album as it turns out to be, I'm going to select the rating and we'll say is and then we'll choose 5 for the number of stars the image has to have to be included in the smart album and then once I've done that I'll click OK and Photoshop Elements is going to tell me that no photos currently meet my search criteria. So now I'm going to select to show all and now I'll choose a couple of photos I think are my all time best because of course at the moment we haven't got any images inside the catalogue that have been rated so that's why we're not finding any. So I'm going to go ahead and go for this squirrel image again. That one's a classic I'd say so I'll click the fifth star along to give it a rating of five stars. Then I'll come down a bit and I'll do the same for the image of the princess. In fact I could go through all these images relatively quickly and rate each one as I see fit. So if I come back to the top I like the train tracks but it's not a classic so I'll give it three stars. The squirrel in the park can have three stars too. Then this ghostly tree image is, uh, is one that I quite like so I'll give that four stars. It's not the best one I've got but it's a good photo nonetheless. Then that ought to give us enough for the time being. I know you don't want to sit here and watch me rate all of these images that's just going to prove incredibly boring for everybody. But now I'm going to come back up to this Fave Photos Smart Album and click it to reveal my favourite photos. And that's the photos of course that I have rated with 5 stars. The great thing about a Smart Album, and I said it earlier, 
is that if I give any photos a rating of 5 stars any time in the future, they will dynamically be included inside this album. So it's kind of like a live album that's always looking for the criteria that we've entered to be matched. Now, if I click inside my smart album, I get to see my two best photos. Now, the great thing about smart albums is they work on the fly, as I was saying, meaning that if I import more photos in the future, any of those that I award five stars will appear inside the smart album. So a really flexible way of organizing and viewing photographs here inside of Photoshop Elements. The incredible thing about smart albums is there's just so much you can do with them. If I click this little green plus icon again and select to create a new smart album, notice the volume, the sheer volume of options that I get to identify certain images. I can choose images taken using the same camera. I can choose all of this photographic criteria such as shutter speed and exposure. And we also have so many variables. So if I select the file name criteria, then check the variables out, I can associate images in my smart album with exact file names that match the one I have stipulated. I can match part of the file name or just the beginning or final letter. So just stacks of possibilities. I can also hit this plus icon to add more than one criteria to the mix. So even more possibilities. I'm sure that whatever your ideas are for the organizer, this feature is going to come in really handy because even though you can manually create searches and tags and smart tags to help find all this information, using smart albums means all this data is just a single click away. Coming up next, we'll look at captions and amending the date and time in our photographs.